of the principal sum which you had lent. In Medina, the money lender made his livelihood through lending money. I pass on $200 to you and you are obliged to return $400 to me. Time is what is responsible for the increase. Today this is known as lending money on interest. In other words, the money lender argued that time equals money. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rejects this riba, lending money on interest. He rejects it in a beautiful ayah of Surah An-Najm in which he says, let me give you the meaning of the ayah first before I translate it and before I quote it in the Arabic text. He says, if you didn't plant, you cannot reap. Where did he say that? Is there any such verse in the Quran? Huh? If you didn't plant, you cannot reap. You can only reap what you planted. Where did he say that in the Quran? Come on, somebody. Huh? All right. That was the meaning of the ayah. Now let me give you the ayah. Surah Al-Najm. وَأَلَيْسَ insani إِلَّا مَا سَعَى That man is not entitled to anything other than that for which he worked. Yes, worked. If you did not plant, you cannot reap. If the money lender lends, he is not planting, no, but he's reaping <laughs> because his money is increasing. If Allah says that you cannot reap unless you plant, and the bank is reaping without planting, how do we explain it? If Allah says you cannot reap if you did not plant, you cannot reap if you did not plant, and the bank is reaping without planting, how do we explain that? Simple. The bank is reaping, what others are planting. The bank is reaping what others are planting. The banker, the money lender, is living off the sweat of others. He's like a pimp. He's like a pimp. The money lender who today is dressed up in civilized language and is called a banker. Is like a pimp. He lives off the sweat of others. That's what he is. This is oppression. This is zulum. That one people sit down very comfortably in luxurious homes by the seafront and have swimming pools and drive Mercedes-Benz motor cars and go on vacations to Disneyland while the rest of the people must work like jackasses in order to allow them to live the affluent life. Do not allow this poison of riba to enter and take control of the economy. Because when it does, a blood-sucking predatory elite 
a blood sucking predatory elite what's a predator an animal that lives off the flesh of other animals a blood sucking predatory elite will now take control of the market and they will suck the blood of the masses and so when an economy is based on riba the rich will keep on growing richer while the masses grow poorer and poorer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to this 